welcome back it's me and this video is going to be a get to know me and I'm going to be telling you little things about me so let's get started with this. So, I really don't know the answer to the question. My favorite hobby is definitely eating, and it's not like being jokingly or anything, but I literally is eating. If I could, I would go to different restaurants and all these kinds of different places that I've heard of and just eat different foods and try all the different flavors they have, all the different kind of donuts, all the different kind of sushis, just everything in general. I would love to do that, just travel around and try different food. I think that's pretty cool. Between cats and dogs, I honestly have no idea what I would choose. I love cats with all my art. I actually have three cats at my mom's house. One's named Stinky, one's named Squirrel, and the other's name is Mo. And I also have a dog here named Bowie, named after David Bowie. My funniest moment in school is actually one of my most embarrassing experiences at school. Like I have stairs that go down to like the next level in the buildings, and I fell up the stairs. I was going upstairs and somehow I tripped over my own foot and just flew, just flew in front of everyone. And it was, people were laughing and then people also were like, ouch, I probably hurt. So I guess it's my most embarrassing, funniest, I don't know what to call it. I have not visited any countries at all, but I would love to, I would love to travel. But I can tell you that I've been to San Francisco, Las Vegas and San Diego, you know, all those kind of cities, which are pretty cool. I'm an Aries, which I don't know what that means, but you guys can look that up. My favorite subject is math, any kind of math, really. I really enjoy math, but I also really enjoy English because I am addicted to poetry, reading. I love all things that have to do with that. English is just really beautiful to me. So my favorite drink, I think everybody who's friends with me or knows me knows that I am obsessed with iced mochas. Anywhere I go, they have to have an iced mocha because that's the only thing I drink. I don't really drink sodas. Iced mochas in general is my go-to drink. I have to have it. If you know me, I drink like six Starbucks a week. That's almost like a whole week just every day is Starbucks. Tea or coffee, between those, I would choose coffee, obviously, since I loved iced mochas. But if I had to choose a tea, I would definitely go with chamomile. It is my favorite tea with honey. Oh my god. It is a dream. And also, if you're having stomach aches or something like that, it is definitely a must-have for situations like that. It will heal you instantly. What I would name my kids for a boy, I would name them James. And for a girl, I'd name them Elizabeth. I think Elizabeth, not just because it's my middle name, but because I think it's a beautiful name in general. My favorite sport would probably have to be soccer. I do not play anymore, but I would love to at some point play it again. I loved it back then with all my heart. It was absolutely my passion and my soul to play, but I did get injured in my knee. But anyways, I love soccer with passion and I would love to play it again if I could. My favorite book. That is actually a really hard question because I love all kinds of books. My favorite poetry book would probably have to be Milk and Honey, which is most everyone's favorite now. And my favorite, I think, biography type book might be um, A House in the Sky, which I've already said, told you guys about, about the girl that got kidnapped and stuff like that. And my favorite just weird book is probably Thirteen and a Half by Nevada Barr. And it's just about murder and a little boy getting framed for it. I don't know. It's just this crazy mess that I read in middle school. And I always remember it being one of my favorites. Um, my favorite movie ranges from a lot of things. Maybe I can give you some genres. Okay, so favorite horror movie or stuff like that would probably be The Purge. Just the whole Purge series in general. I love the idea of it. I think it's super crazy. And just, I think it's cool. The whole idea is pretty cool. I don't think I really have an action one that's my favorite. I don't watch that much action. But I do love Guardians of the Galaxy. That is one of my favorites. Groot, it has my heart. I love Groot so much. That's really the reason why I watch it. But it's definitely a great movie. And as a child, I really loved two particular movies, series in general. I loved Scream. 
with all my heart. It is such a classic slasher film, teenage slasher film. I love it so much. I recommend it to everyone. It's crazy. And the second one I watched as a child and growing up, I watched Nightmare on Elm Street. I love them all. I think it is so cool. The ideas and like all the way it's made, the producing and everything. It's so, it looks so low budget, but it's absolutely amazing. And overall, I think everyone should watch it. But those are my favorites, and just to let you know, as you probably can't tell, I am in love with horror movies. They are my absolute favorite. I do not get scared, really, so that's why I like them. I love the adrenaline that comes from it. I do not have actual blood-related siblings, but I do have step-siblings in a way. My dad's girlfriend has two daughters, and my mom's boyfriend has a daughter and a son, so I guess you can call that something. And for languages, I do speak a little bit of Spanish because I am half Mexican. I My family on my mother's side is from Cuernavaca. My fashion sense, I would say, is a really wide variety of things. Like right now, I could just be lazy and have just a black top on. Or other than that, it could be total Brandy Melville style. Or it could be total like hipster. It could be so many different things. It could be grunge, it could be all kinds of things. So I don't really label myself as any fashion choice. My favorite type of music is a wide variety, just like my fashion sense. <laughs> it could be punk, it could be pop, it could be like that 80s type of music, and it could be disco, it could be anything. I think the one I listen to the most would probably be punk music. I really enjoy listening to that. Or it could be 80s music, I love the 80s. Well, I don't really have a favorite restaurant. I do have a favorite dessert place though. And my absolute number one favorite dessert place has to be Be Sweet. It's in West LA on Sautel and they have donuts filled with ice cream. They had bread pudding that's absolutely to die for. And I think they have the, they started, or I don't know, but they have the slutty brownie. I don't know if anyone's heard of that. It's like Oreo cookie, cookie dough, brownie with like chocolate fudge and all this stuff in it. It's so delicious. You might get a little stomachache after, but it's all worth it. Oh my gosh, I love this question. My favorite TV shows. Okay, so I love TV shows on Netflix, so here we go. I watched Breaking Bad. I'm watching it. I've watched it before and I love it with all my heart and then I watched it a second time. I'm currently watching it a second time. And the next one is Riverdale that just came out recently, I'm pretty sure. But Riverdale is an absolute must. It's like murder, all the craziest things in high school combined together, just doubled. And it has Cole Sprouse in it, who's from Sweet Life, Zack and Cody. I love Raising Hope. I've watched that probably a gazillion times. Raising Hope is about a guy who has a child with a serial killer, and he has to raise that baby with his family, who also had him very young. So it's just all this craziness in a small little town, and it's not scary or anything. It's not thriller. It's a funny comedy, and that's, a, that's all the shows I watch. Well, it used to be Reno 911, which is an amazing show, by the way. It's hilarious. And I have the iPhone 7. My favorite app is Visco and Instagram, because those intertwine. I used to just go to edit pictures, and then I post them on Instagram, and I love Instagram so much. So that's it for the get to know me tag. I hope that gives you a little bit of information about me. If you have any more questions about me, you could definitely leave them in the comments and I can answer those for you. Check out my Instagram. I have some pretty cool stuff. And check out Nathan's Instagram, Groovy Photography there. And have a groovy day, groovy rest of the day. Groovy vibes as always. I will see you all in the next video, which could be a vlog or whatever it is. I will definitely see you all then. So goodbye for now, guys.